Huh? The big one laying down to the left. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Is it? <laughs> Dude, are you fucking fired up this morning or what? Dude, I'm fired up. Let me pull forward a little bit. It's not even a big one, dude. Yeah, I got bigger poles than last week. Yeah, actually. It's just cool he's laying down. Dude, big mule deer like elk. Uh, baby blocks. I'll shoot it. Dude, baby blocks. Dude, babies. Fucking shoot that. On the right. Dude, no, those are, that one on the right's a 3 by 2 Hell yeah. Wait, the one on the left's a 3 by 2 dude. Those geeks bucks. The third one on the left. It's really great. Yeah, the third one's a baby, but... Shit, dude. It's fucking so good. Yeah, let's watch them. I say we pull up at least to that fence. What do you think? You want to creep up a little bit, shut the truck off, and then like hop off to the left? Yeah, we, like maybe we could drop down on this low point and work. Yeah, work up. Work around this way. Yeah, I was really excited when I thought they were going to drop to the right, man. I was like, fuck, we can just chase them. Thermal vortexes and I tunnels. I think they're going to drop down out of the wind and start to chill at some point. I bet they stay in that drainage though. Like I don't think they're gonna keep traveling the countryside. All right, so. What the fuck do I know though? Yeah, I don't know shit. So we just pulled into this property. We decided to just uh, sleep in a little bit and get out at first light to do a little driving around and see if we can locate some animals like that. We didn't make it very far in this property and these mealy bucks were standing right in the road and they got all fidgety, the wind picked up a lot uh, and they dropped down into well, a valley, a drainage. We're gonna go after them. They weren't real big, but uh, shooters to me, for sure. All right, let's, let's fucking do it. Let's go shoot me in there. Let's go shoot me in there. facing upwind, chin on the ground. Yeah. You got him? Yeah. I haven't seen I any. think it's the small one. Yeah. I think it, I can see a velvet fork. It's ear flicking. Okay, man, we found him. We just gotta find the other guys. Dude, 
Besides some vortexes going on, it would probably be pretty safe with the wind. Yeah. And at that point, it's just like, I don't think we could use the terrain to get close enough. So that only leaves those fucking spindly pines and shit. We got our shooter located. We're gonna get up to where we can, and then I'm just gonna belly crawl just right up to his bed and just stab it in the neck. We figure that's our best, our best shot here. You know, because like, it's windy. You know, I don't know how, I'm not really good with counting for wind leads and such, my bow, so. I'm just gonna eliminate that variable, and just stab it in the neck. So, we're about to head out right now. Let's go, let's fill both our tags today and then we gotta go buy more tags. We're uh, snacked up, ready to rock. They're all sleepy-eyed over there. Wind's just ripping, sun's high. So I'm sure they're not going anywhere. So we're gonna get down a couple drainages over. Now the wind's coming right over their back, so like we're not gonna just be able to go right up behind them. We get as close as we can on the backside with the wind direction. So at that point, we're just gonna try and inch up and over and use whatever cover's available to get within range. And I'm feeling pretty confident though. We're gonna kill them, for sure. I mean, the guys on the TV do it like every time, so. Yeah, Steven Seagal said if you find them, you can kill it. Yeah. You just go find them. I mean, realistically, too, these are big, like babies. They're dumb as hell. We could probably just walk over there. Come on, dude. Don't be oh, doing man, that. I was trying to get you, too. Don't worry. I got plenty of footage of myself. It's quiet down here. Yeah, it's hot. It's fucking quiet. Dude. It's hot and quiet and still. Well, they're laying in, in you know, the same spot. I could see both of them. I wasn't sure, like, I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure that the other one's that much bigger. Look at one of them standing up. I was gonna say, the wind is going backwards down here straight up back behind him on the hill. Like same direct line of sight. Oh man, there is deadfall that we could potentially use to fall in the shade. Wonder if we could get to that. I think we're gonna make it. 
Go. Be the thumbnail, full draw, Nebraska, no matter what happens. on what would be like where they were laying if they were laying, laying there. Like, you can see all the way to the right, there's nothing there. I'm pretty confident they're on their side of the knob. I think I want us back down and come right back over the top of them. Yeah, and then just like be ready to fucking let one fly after you crack the top. Yeah.
Okay, well after a long stalk to exactly where their beds are, they weren't there, but I was watching the four point down to the bottom and he uh, spotted us, but we stayed still and I think he's given up and then Nate spotted one of the other bucks uh, bedded right down where he was. So we don't know where the third buck is, but uh, bottom line is we're now on the side of the hill they're bedding on. They're now at the bottom of the hole now, but we're next to this big deadfall. So what we've got between us and them, and uh, seeing that there's a little bit of a knob down there near where the deer is at. And so what we're going to try and do is uh, s scoot down using this deadfall uh, as cover to get down to a lower elevation and hopefully gain an angle that puts that knob between us and them. So we can close the distance. We're at about 80 right now. So we're gonna give it a shot. Not sure what else we can do. That's what I was afraid of. Though. There's like no angle that we could kill him from. Okay, really. Wow. Dude, let's keep doing this, huh? You like doing that? Hey, rip a little interview, dude. Let me rip a little interview. Rip one off. Rip it off. All right. We're in the middle of a cow pasture. Um, basically, we're going to try to move in on an area. The area that we glassed, uh, was it the night before season? Yeah. We saw a doze come out of the closer one that we're trying to watch. But there's another one that was a little further away that has a little more trees. Another little, I guess it's like a group of trees a little what would you, I mean stand stand of timber a little bushy drainage from this reservoir kind of guessing the bucks weren't in that first one so maybe they're in this next one we got a ripping west wind so we're just going out and around real wide try to keep the wind in our favor and like stalk into it and kind of see what happens we didn't bring any tree stands because we're fucking pussies and uh you know want to stay light and mobile but they're in there I know no, it's real. Not grazed. Grazed. That means no deer. Deer. Cows. Deer. Got that sagebrush over there. We might shoot a 200 inch mule. I mean, come on, 180 maybe. Stack in the bedding area. Yeah. Our wind sucks. Yeah. I just threw it and it went right down us. Oh, I just, I just watched it follow it. Oh, we realized wind fucked us. 
I'm sure we bumped some deer and then we actually saw a group of three does squirt out the back and so we were out of we were out of habitat so we decided with only like 45 minutes left that we were gonna try to get to the next drainage so we just jogged across the open prairie dog field and just dropped down in it If you sat in the buck shit bed, I could be right. Yeah, then I'm just looking over the grass so we wouldn't fucking see them until they were on. Also, I think they could come behind us. 